Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Today we're going to have another carnivore adventure. We're going to make some uh, pork bellies. Pork bellies, if you don't realize it, they have a nice ratio of fat to the meat. Um, these things are delicious. You can cook them a couple different ways. You can barbecue them, you can smoke them, you can put them in a skillet, you can put them in the oven. Today we're going to put them in the oven, but we're going to have a little twist to the recipe. So without further ado, let's get to it because it's simple, easy, and very, very tasty. Well, how simple is this? Already sliced pretty much. They cut it in slices for you. This is $5.27 per pound. As you can see, it's not quite two pounds. I paid $8.06. But you're going to get a decent amount for what you pay for. Here you have a sharp knife, a cutting board, some skewers, salt, pepper, and some, I mean, some spicy paprika. Here we have a pan with the rack in it so your drippings can go there. I saved the drippings. And I put them in this container and I use them to cook with. Okay, so first you want <clears throat> to look at, take out your uh, pork bellies. You cut them to pretty much, don't, not quite room temperature, but you still want to have a little chill on them so it makes it easier to slice. Then you just take it and right up the middle. These usually average out about almost an inch thickness. And what you want to do is you want to cut these right down the middle. This will help with the cooking time, and you can see the fat. Okay, fat to meat ratio on this side, same thing. Anyway, what we're going to do is you're going to take your skewer, and you're going to poke it right through, okay? Then flip it over like this, same thing again. Poke it right through. Again, poke it through. And you're going to do that until you get all the way down to the end. This is a little fun thing to do. It's not, you know, nothing spectacular. But as you can see, you get a nice little twisty thing there. But now we're going to have a little more twist to it because we're going to scooch it together. And then you're going to twist like this, like you're wringing out a rack, see? Just keep twisting and twisting. You get a nice tight little wrap. Okay, we'll do one more. <clears throat> Like I said, it's just a little bit of fun. Uh, we eat these on the side, or Penny and I like them with a, a snack. Uh, we like them when people come over. Uh, everybody likes them, so they're good. <laughs> and there you have it. So then you just twist it together again. And you want to get a nice, tight little twist. Okay. Okay, once you get them all twisted up, then we're going to hit it with a little bit of salt. <clears throat> now, I didn't come up with this by myself. I wish I would have, but this was a video that popped up. I don't know what I was watching. I don't know if it was, I don't watch TikTok that much, but I do get TikTok videos popping up on my other social things. So it could have been that. Um, it could have been YouTube. I don't know, but some guy did this, and I thought it was kind of neat. So I'm sharing this with you guys. We'll put a little bit of pepper on here. Not have to put much. Remember now, this is pork belly, it's not bacon. It has you got to season it up a little bit, have a little bit of taste. Otherwise, it's not uh, seasoned well enough by itself. And then we're going to put a little bit of. Uh, I usually use smoked paprika when I do these. I don't do the. I do this like uh, in the oven a bunch, but sometimes I won't. I don't do this twisting thing that often. I do it occasionally. Uh, <clears throat> but I made a whole bunch of pork belly. I just can't believe I didn't think of this myself, which is really crazy. But, you know, you don't think of stuff like that unless you have a twisted mind. <laughs> Sorry, guy. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get to this. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so now we have this side. We're going to rotate it. And we're going to do the other side. Okay, as you can see, I got everything seasoned up on both sides. <clears throat> I got the oven preheating to 425. I usually use 400, but I like a little bit more crispness, so I put it up to 425. You can do it however you like it. It's going to take anywhere between 35 and 40 minutes to do the whole thing. I usually cook this halfway through and then rotate it. Okay, in the oven, hit the start button. I notice I had 15 minutes. I'm going to rotate them and do it again for another 15. Close the door. And we're set. I put the convection setting on also. So we should have some nice crisp pork belly. Okay, rotation time. 
Look at that sizzle. You know sizzle is, right? Sizzle cells. See how nice and crispy they're coming out already? So be careful. I do this right here in the, in the oven. It's the mini oven, so I just flip them over. Sticks are a little warm. And these will be done very shortly. Alright. Slide them back in. And we're off and running again. Okay, guys, 33 minutes. And this is how I like them. They're not overly done. They're nice and crispy. Uh, <clears throat> let me uh, give you a little demonstration. Watch your fingers. Okay. So, you know, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's crunchy. Okay, so let me give this a little taste test. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm, I don't know if you can hear the crunch, but the fat, absolutely delicious. So, guys, <clears throat> if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet. And remember, this is a delicious carnivore dish, but you don't have to be carnivore to eat it and like it. So, my friends, stay hungry, and when you all come back, we will give you another delicious dish just like this. This is Mr. Dan saying stay healthy, stay wise, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.